Good. Let's uh, insert a new video track. All you gotta do is right click your timeline, hit insert video track. Now we got a new track. Let's go back to our media generators. And let's uh, go with some multiple keyframes this time. I'm gonna go with uh, microscopic threads here. And what I'm gonna do is again change the color to black and uh, let's go with a more yellowish tone. Now again I'm gonna put a keyframe at the end of our video clip and put progress in degrees to full. But I'm also going to take this color B thing and uh, change this all the way to zero. And what it does basically is make it the background transparent. Kind of like a green screen effect, but with no green screen. And uh, for our first keyframe, I'm actually going to have this qu quite low to begin with. So here's our effect so far. We got a bunch of stuff going on, and it just looks cool. You can also change the color of it if you want, or whatever. But uh, as you can see, the yellow part kind of stands out too much and it's just uh, not looking too good. So we can actually either remove it or edit it or whatever. But I'm going to change the compositing technique. So over here, it says uh, compositing mode. And this is only available on the professional version of Vegas, by the way. If we click this, there's a bunch of options here. Let's change this to dodge. And what it does is it kind of blends itself with the rest of the background, but it still leaves itself like a little imprint. So if we play it back, uh, some parts are more vibrant and bright than others, and it gives it a nice effect. Alright, so now uh, let's get some lightning in here. Drag it into its own track. Now, let's have the color be all the way nothing, so that it's uh, kind of just on its own. Again, with the green screen effect I was talking about. Change the color a bit. And put a keyframe at the end. Have progress and degrees at full. Okay, let's also uh, pan this... Uh, lightning so I'm gonna to go to my pan and crop window on my lightning track let's uh, just put a keyframe at the two second mark we'll have it zoom in rotate about 90 degrees all right about there then we'll move it a bit more about the five second mark make it zoom out a bit more rotate a bit more and we'll position that up there. And we'll do the same thing one more time. Just move it a bit, rotate it a bit, move it into one corner, and exit up. So if we play it back, we now got this lightning that's moving all around the place and it's uh, animating, and it looks pretty good. But uh, again, it kind of stands out too much, so instead of changing the compositing mode, I'm just gonna sandwich it between both tracks. So I can have it here, and it does make sort of a difference, but I'm actually gonna put it at the very bottom track. And now the dodge compositing mode actually uh, is interfering with this, so that technique didn't work, so I guess I'm just going to have to leave it here, Whoops. which is okay, but I was uh, hoping to um, have it a bit different, but that's okay. We can actually uh, decrease the brightness here. Go to video effects, drag in brightness and contrast, darker, and drag it just on the lightning itself, then uh, make it a bit darker and have the contrast up or something if you want. But anyways, uh, that's the basic idea. So now we got this lightning here. That looks good and everything else is doing with all these flashes. So I guess you could say that's done. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to introduce some advanced keyframing and different compositing techniques. So the final thing, let's just add some text. And uh, here we go. I'm gonna call it Techtopia. And let's uh, change the font here to cheap fire I guess it doesn't really matter this is just for the sake of example you can bump the font size up if you want go to our effects have draw outline checked have it at whatever color you're looking for all right so there we go now I'm gonna exit out of this and I'm gonna go to our pan and crop window just on our text layer and what I'm gonna do is have it at the top left corner and have it at a bit of a rotation here I'm going to put a keyframe at the end and have it go into the top or the bottom right corner, sorry. And have it straighten itself out a bit. Okay, it's just got to go a bit more in the center here. Alright, that looks good. So if we play it back, we got our uh, text there and it's got all these flashes going on. So that looks pretty good on its own. We're just going to do a few more tweaks to make the text uh, have its own little effects. So we can do the TV effect, the thing I showed you before just on the text and that can uh, create a really strong effect let me show you what I'm talking about here I can have the text and the text only 
really staticky. This is the same um, thing I was talking about before. Alright, this is getting quite tedious. I'm only going to do this once just because I don't want to bore your minds out. If I haven't already. If I have, I'm very sorry. So, of course, the hold keyframing technique uh, gets quite tedious and boring, but uh, it can be worth it if you know how to play your cards right. So the text is doing flashes as well as the background. So I'm going to do one more thing, change the compositing mode of our text. We can change it to whatever we want. Overlay kind of changes the entire background. So if you're looking for that kind of effect, uh, you can do that. I think it looks quite cool, but uh, you might be looking for something different. All these different compositing modes do different things. Lighten, burn. Burn does the kind of the same thing as a uh, uh, overlay. Hard light kind of removes everything. But the one I like the most is dodge because it's still there, but it leaves an imprint. But uh, you can do whatever you want. I actually kind of like overlay because look at this, it's uh, kind of cool. So of course you can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it like that. But um, anyways, that is basically an advanced intro creation. If you're looking for something really advanced, I'd uh, suggest looking into Adobe After Effects. Sony Vegas isn't meant for this kind of stuff. It's more uh, towards just linear editing, not um, you know special effects or anything like that. So if you're looking for something a little more advanced, you can check out Adobe After Effects or something. So uh, this is pretty far as far as Sony Vegas will go. But uh, you can do a bit better than this, so maybe one time I'll make like a 10 part super duper amazing intro tutorial or something. But anyways, uh, thanks for the request, Icon Pixel. Sorry if it wasn't what you were looking for or something. Uh, hope it works out for you. Have fun. Leave a comment, rate the video, subscribe, do whatever you want. Anyways, thanks for watching, and take care.